Well, how you doing guys? Anyhow, it's cold. I am right now in Little Rock, Arkansas. It is about 12 noon and I'm exercising. I have a long way to go. We'll see if I can now. If I can uh, uh, walk about maybe maybe a couple of hours with this cold it's gonna be hard but uh, I think I can get a couple of hours in of walking and it's plenty of space to walk and uh, I want to talk about something that I have noticed and I noticed this after uh, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Jang the uh, Democratic Party uh, candidate quit the race and uh, sort of sort of like some a friend of mine just said to me the uh, the uh, universal universal income is a good thing basically and uh, you know I thought it was a uh, you know something they they yes someone pick up and I started investigating and analyzing the data that Jang was putting out and the Democratic Party is putting out and then I realized that uh, it is real it is a lot of people out there conditioned to believe the universal income now remember what I just said universal income so I'm gonna see if I can explain it how it actually works and uh, it's gonna be extremely hard to do because uh, the transferring the transferring of learning from one human to another is extremely difficult especially in the condition that I'm doing it so let me give you the give you the best or give you my best and explain to you what it means universal income first I had to I had to set you up I had to uh, I had to teach you how it works the mechanics and then I'm going to teach you how they do it and uh, you have to use your imagination you have to you have to understand that I cannot give you humanity in, the, in this video I just cannot but I can tell you this a troop of monkeys gather together one female monkey get on all fours quadruple and expose her genitals the group of monkeys together they will not make an advance the reason is that it is a troop pack or an alpha monkey what they call it the strongest monkey so they fear the group fear the single strong monkey out of nowhere come a young healthy monkey that doesn't give a rat and mount the female monkey and go at it and make love to that female monkey and she just happy as it can be now guess what happened next what happened next is you will think that some of them of the troop will try to compete with that young monkey and try to get the female but they do not do that what they do they all gather together and run away that is real but they just not run away they go and find the big monkey or the alpha male monkey and bring him over so he can fight the one making love to the beautiful female monkey so analyze that data humans are just the same we are just freaking animals so what is universal income check this out 
analyze what they telling you universal income so let's break it down what is an income an income is something that you earn earn so you are earning an income if you get up every morning and you go to work you are going to work for an income not a salary salary now let's pick up on salary salary is from the word salt salt and the reason is we are animals and we need salt and for millennia for m millions of years salt was and it still is in some places currency currency life itself so in the places where salt is king and water is king and grain is king that is called a salary when you earn the amount of salt so now analyze the sound income salt that is the key right there because what they're doing they are conditioning you to the sound to, to basically that it is that simple because now when when you actually believe that somebody is going to give you something for nothing and they call it income automatically your mind will say oh income that is good if everybody has an income if everyone has an income guess what we're going to live better so we're going to receive a thousand dollars a month forever <laughs> so it's not a salary it's not something they give you anymore it's something that you earn it's something that you earn so now because you think that is something that you earn it is okay you your mind will will defend it so now i come along and i tell you you are an idiot and your mind automatically will go into the, a defend position it, it will defend itself because your mind is supposed to work that way when something is not in line with you conditioning you are going to defend it and they expect that that is what it's all about that is about color political parties everything is about that is to give you a condition in your mind where now you will defend it <laughs> you do not analyze it so now let's go back to universal income that is a lie because an income you have to work for it you have to do something to earn it or you can steal it that's okay it's still an income if you are a thief that you go around taking women's purses around new york guess what that believe it or not is an income you're working <laughs> it's not for free you're earning it now back to the salary we have done this forever the salary situation a salary is when they're buying you when they're giving you something so you can get conditioned, yes, like a little dog. You, you make a sound and you feed a dog. And that dog will come to that sound if you feed it over and over and over. As a matter of fact, the, you go and feed that dog without the, the, the sound and he will not come. You can throw that steak out there and he, if he doesn't smell it, he won't come. So guess what? the same way with the human the reality is the salary have been given to the Romans to the Greeks to everyone every the Persians give salaries salary remember is a sound you must you must decondition yourself I, you cannot if you not decondition yourself you have no idea what I'm talking about you're gonna say oh this guy's crazy Yes, make sure that I am crazy, but analyze the sound. Analyze what I'm saying. 
So now we got the Romans out there on the Circus Maximus, right? <laughs> and they go like, what, 150 days with games, killing everybody? Killing animals, elephants, <laughs> everybody in Capua. You go to Capua, you go to Rome, you go to Pompeii, you go to the Tuscan lands, any place. Guess what? They're going to give you free grain, a salary. Not an income, a salary. They're going to give you free bread, free wine, free everything. And the citizens of Rome, they are thrilled to receive it. <laughs> now, this is the dark part that no one is telling you about when you start uh, uh, analyzing the data. It's where are they getting all these uh, salaries, all this salt, all this food, and all these benefits that you are going to receive every single month. It's called a slavery. That is what it's called, slavery. Because there is nothing for free in this planet. Zero, nothing for free. So, when Young is selling you universal income, when anybody is selling you universal income, where are I going to get that income from? Guess what? <laughs> from you. <laughs> from you. And I'll tell you why from you. It's just mathematics. We are the United States of America. In the United States of America, we have 360 million people. Out of those 360 million people, guess what? 49% of it does not work. They do no work. They don't pay taxes. And the reason is, if they pay taxes, they cannot leave. So the government, what they do? They take taxes from the ones who are working. And that is another 49%. Now, the 2% on the top, like young, they actually don't pay taxes. They're telling you that they are paying uh, most of the taxes because they are the one percentage. But if you do the math, they are not paying taxes. They cannot support 350 million people. So, when Yang say, or anybody actually say to you that they are going to give you a, a income for free, right? Actually, they're putting the money in their pocket. For example, I have a car to sell. I'm going to sell an automobile to you. But you have no money. <laughs> You don't even know how to drive it. You have no, you, it's zero. You, you, I mean, you don't count for me on my market, right? So you don't count. So I don't even try to sell you a car. The opposite. I try to make you a slave by paying taxes. So I get out that car and I take it to some place where somebody actually can afford it. And sell it. The problem is that when it come to a point where these people making the cars, they are no use in the cars. People like in New York and Detroit and all these you know big towns, they don't they, they make the cars but they don't know they don't they don't use the cars. So what they do, they giving you a universal income, they're telling you we're gonna give you a thousand dollars, right? No, no to the guy living in the city, no, no, to the guy living in the, in the boonies, right? And they're going to be really happy because now you can afford to buy that car, right? Thousand dollars a month, that's a thousand dollars payment on a brand new car, shiny. And guess what? That money is going to their pocket because without that money, you cannot buy the car. You cannot support 
the industry, and that is the key. Analyze what I'm saying now. It is, it is very difficult to grab your, your head around it. Basically, you are not going to give me nothing because you're going to take it away from me because they know that you're a consumer. They know you're going to, to blow it up. And guess what? They're going to take the money from the guys working every single day, working out here, making the United States of America what it is, right? Busting their asses off, going to school, learning, making videos out here, going into police station and showing what the corruption is in this country. That is the people who makes America, the United States of America. So now, you're going to rob from them, you're actually going to take their livelihood and give it not to somebody, no, put them it on your pocket. How you do it? By selling product like an aspirin. You have a European company making aspirin, buyer, right? Buyers making aspirin. They going to sell me an aspirin. I have a terrible headache. I cannot even move, right? So I need an aspirin. So I go to a drugstore and they say the aspirin is $2, but I don't have it. So I, all I can do is just turn around, go back out, go back home and sit around and wait until my uh, headache goes away, right? We've been doing that for tens of thousands of years. Our biology can survive, can recoup. All we have to do is have a great diet. That's it. So now, guess what happened? A politician comes in and he's telling me, oh, no worry about it. No, no, we're going to give you, we're going to give you a universal income so you can pay for that pill. So analyze that, who wins? No me, <laughs> all I need is a good diet. What they're doing is giving me money so I can buy crap. So they can push me all that chemical beef. So they can push into my body all these bunch of pesticides and, and all the fish and all the pollution that we create. That is what they're doing. They're taking money from one in the name of the children, in the name of the poor, in the name of the needed. We're going to call it a universal income and everybody's going to be happy. So analyze the data, my friends. There is nothing in this planet for nothing. It's called energy. It cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred. That's it. It's only so much out here uh, of, of energy. So universal income is already been proven a failure because it does not help society. It's the opposite. It take away from the brightest that we have, the people who really are involved in the United States of America, and not yes, the United States of America, but the world. The very, the very best of us is the one being attacked when they condition you to believe in universal income. It does not work. It does not work for the Romans. It did not work for the uh, Persians. It did not work for anyone. And it's not going to work for us. So analyze the data and, and keep working. Keep analyzing, keep working, keep fighting. Don't feel, don't feel inferior in any way. And I understand this video is going to come across uh, erroneously because I am at, sounds like I am attacking, but the reality I'm not. It's the opposite. I'm defending you. I'm defending our community. So, so, so wrap around that in your head. From the monkey troop to sound to conditioning to the reality of transferring of energy in between humans. And come and visit uh, Little Rock, Arkansas, a beautiful town in the south of the United States of America. Look at how many cars are there. That money come from someplace. That energy using on those cars, it can only be transferred from some other source. It doesn't matter if it's petroleum or the sun. Somebody has to create the machinery and that machinery takes energy to create.
It is as simple as that. I hope you enjoyed my video. And uh, I wish I, I, I'm more eloquent than, uh, than what I am. It is extremely hard for me to transfer ideas. But uh, hey, this is all I, all I can do is this.